Hey everyone and welcome. Before we go on, can I say I'm really enjoying Piers Moron's incessant ramblings. Now before you bite me head off, let me explain. He started to really pee me off, as he, I'm sure he did with every one of you as well. But then I saw his numbers drop, i.e. how many people were watching, and he imploded for over it, didn't he? Now if anyone wants to see how not to report luck to Piers, his latest two are he's moaning that the Tories won't talk to him and his newest rant is golden. Listen to this. Now he's annoyed that people can buy a house but he can't go to his second home. <laughs> How out of touch do you need to be to think that, eh? I wonder if he meant his second home in Sussex or his second home in Hollywood. Pays your dream of being elite is dying at your own hands. Anyway, in this video we look at Jacob Rees-Mogg and his very uncanny knack of terrifying every MP in Parliament. And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Rotten politics in this country at the moment. It's titled, Jacob Rees-Mogg sparks fury over plans to order MPs back to Westminster to set example. Now it says fury, but we all know they mean scare the crap out of, and personally, I think it shows the real reason we are all in this lockdown, and it 100% isn't to save TikTok NHS. It's the MPs and media are terrified they're in danger too. The money can't protect them, the, the gated communities can't protect them, and that's what it's all about. But let me know if you agree. Let's read. Jacob rees mogg has sparked fury among MPs after claiming they should return to Westminster to set an example for the rest of the country, and I totally agree with that, they should. With Boris Johnson urging some to return to work where it is safe to do so, Mr rees mogg announced MPs may soon have to follow suit. His announcement was met with fury from some members of parliament who highlighted the age of certain MPs. A senior Labour official told Politico, the government advises that those people able to work from home should do so. Well, are you ready? This, this is the fear oozing out of them now. Well, we are doing so. It's not ideal, but it's working. There is no rationale for this. SMP MP and Central Ayrshire and Shadow Secretary of State Health, Philippa Whitford, also said, Crazy, House of Commons Chamber only allows 50 MPs at a safe distance. Virtual Chamber can add 120. No mention of MPs in shielding or vulnerable groups who will be disenfranchised. Then here we go. Here's the old bullet point words, aren't there? This is nothing to do with them worrying about the country unlocking or anything like that you know like they've been screaming we can't lock we can't remove the lockdown it's got nothing to do with that they just don't want to have to risk it themselves do they just remember the pack chamber on a budget day well do your jobs everyone you see this is my issue with this one people that can't work from home are having to go to work now not because we're being forced to but because of financial reasons these people think that they can stay at home and still do their job and it isn't rubbing it in the faces of the people that can't you see where i'm coming from with this if they want people to have to go back to work i.e we're having to take the risk what about frontline workers they take the risk these people won't even sit in a massive room liberal democrat for mp for no northeast fife wendy chamberlain also said the current advice is that people should work at home if we can we have proven that MPs can't. See what I mean? It's, they want money for sitting on the backside talking into a camera. Ignore that last comment. They're just terrified, aren't they, of having to go back to work? And this is why the lockdown, I think. I think the reason they wanted the lockdown is so that there's less chance that they can catch it. But that's a personal opinion. I've got no proof on that. But let me know what you think. Do you think the same? As yet, the government has published no guidance as to how MPs and staff are meant to keep a two metres distance from each other whilst working in Parliament. Yes, they have. It's called Be Alert. Stay safe. Oh my God. People are idiots. These people are idiots. And we've got these running our country, everyone. Perhaps most worryingly of all, MPs and staff will be further filling up public transport networks. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. You don't do that. You're walking from three miles away from your nice fancy flat that the taxpayers have paid for you because your house is six miles away. Yeah, we know the stories. <laughs> Mr. Eastmog said in the Commons, It is clear that soon Parliament must set an example how we move back gradually to a fully function country again. Our constituents would expect nothing less. No, what they expect is to you to go back to work because we're having to go back to work for financial reasons. We don't all get paid 
£80,000 a year and then claim £250,000 on top. Do uh, elitism oozes out of MPs at times like this, doesn't it? So while we must move in to step in step with public health guidance, it is vital that when we are asking other people to work and go to their places of work, if they cannot do so from home, we should not be the ones who are exempt from that. Exactly. I, I fully agree with that. Nobody should be exempt from that, in my opinion. If factory workers can't work from home, there's numerous trades around the, around the country that can't work from home. So to, to, to continue the work from home thing is rubbing it in the faces of the ones that can't do that, isn't it? Indeed, we should be leading by example. I 100% agree there, Jacob. From today, certain workers in England will be able to return to the workplace. Under government guidance, if work can be carried out from home, members of the public should continue to do so. However, there is a tailored guidance for those who cannot work remotely. Under the new guidelines, those who work in supermarkets, construction, manufacturing, research facilities, laboratories, those who administer takeaways, administer takeaways? Administer takeaways, that's a weird word or food deliveries, tradesmen or those who facilitate trade will be able to return. In other words, the ones that won't be getting help can return, but MPs, because they get paid anyway, they don't want to go back to work, do they? They just want to sit in their own house and moan over the television. So much easier for them, you see. They only have to get dressed from the waist up. However, strict safety and social distancing measures must be maintained where possible. The measures differ between England, Wales, Northern Ireland and Scotland. Yeah, and that's because all of the little jumped up leaders of those places think they're more important than the, than the union as a whole. Personally, I think they should be slapped down for that one, in my opinion, as soon as this lurgy crisis is over. Concentrating on England, Mr Johnson stated the government will take a phased approach on to how the country proceeds. Next month, certain non-essential shops may be able to return as long as the rate of infection has been at the sustained low level. Now, in regards to Johnson giving Scotland to Sturgeon to deal with and Wales have got Plaid Cymru, etc., the reason he's done it, I think, is very, very clever and I don't think they've realised it yet. What he's actually done is he's taken all of the it's your fault away from England and Boris and the Tories and put it solely in the hands of the countries. So if anything goes wrong, he's not to blame anymore, is he? It's them. <laughs> so a very clever move in my opinion. I was thinking about it the other day after raging about Sturgeon saying she was going to build a wall and uh, totally cut off from, the, from England and the Union. And it is a very shrewd move, in my opinion. Let me know, do you think the same? Do, do you think that Boris has got the number and he's thought, you're not blaming me for anything that goes wrong, so yeah, you have control for just this one thing, and we'll see how well you do, shall we? In July, further industries such as bars, restaurants and hairdressers may be opened. So they are looking to get things open. Rhys Mogg is 100% right. If these politicians want to set an example, which they should do, it is their duty to, they should be back in work, whether it's social distanced or not, because rest assured there will be people working out there that don't have the option for social distancing when they're working. And to, sh to say that it's down to fury, it's not down to fury at all, is it? Now, what's my opinion on this? I think it shows that they're all terrified, absolutely terrified to the, the, to the boots. I think that's what the whole lockdown thing was all about. I think that's why the media have been forcing the lockdown and want it to continue. Because they don't want us out there spreading it so that possibly they can catch it. It's got nothing to do with protecting us or the TikTok NHS. It's all about protecting themselves. You see, with a virus, you can't pay for protection, can you? Doesn't matter how much money you've got, doesn't matter how many walls you've got, it can get to you. And I think that is what has caused our elites and media and politicians and everybody else that's got a, a fair bit of wallet to absolutely shite themselves. <laughs> Let me know what you think, though, guys. I want to know what your opinion is on this. Thank you, everyone that subscribed so far. I really do appreciate all your support. If you are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe, hit the bell icon. You'll be notified of the next video. Share it out if you want me to, want to help me get around the YouTube algorithm that's trying to throttle us. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe, everyone.